is Anshika, and we have another amazing crew member with us. So she is Kiona. She's a special crew member for our today's flight. So now we are going to proceed with our today's presentation. That is Iceland. Okay, next. Yes. Iceland is a country which is low. Uh, I request my guests to mute their mics. We will have a session at the end. Can I tell a fact about Iceland? Yes, uh, we will give you time. Uh, please mute your mic. We are going with the presentation right now. After this, you can say whatever you want, okay? So, I hope everyone has muted their mics. Okay. So, Iceland is a country which is located. Please, guess, I hope, please mute your mics. Mommy, I'm muted. In the North Atlantic Ocean, lying on the constantly active geological border between North America and Europe Island, is a land of vivid contrasts of climate, geography, and culture. Next slide. Can I have next slide? Okay. So Ireland, Iceland is a Nordic island nation, which is defined by its dramatic landscapes with volcanoes, geysers, hot springs and lava fields. So massive glaciers are protected in the national parks. Most of the population lives in the capital, which runs on the geothermal power and is home to the national and saga Good evening, ma'am. Raising Iceland's Viking story. Next slide. So here we can see a brief political map of the country. So Iceland is usually divided into eight regions. So with that are capital region, southern peninsula, west westward, northwest, northeast, east and south. So these divisions are intended to assist with the planning of holiday in Iceland and are therefore primarily geographical that rather than the administrative one okay so now we will be moving towards the flag so i have assigned you the task to search about the flag of the iceland so i hope you all have done with the task so the flag for the icelanding people is the flag's coloring represents a vision of their country's landscape so the color stands for three of the elements that makes the Iceland. So the red color in the flag is the fire produced by the island's volcanoes. So white resembles the ice and snow that covers the Iceland. And the blue is the four mountains of the Iceland. So the ratio of the flag is in 18 ratio 25. Talking about the area of the country, so Iceland is 103,000 square kilometer. It's about one quarter larger than the Ireland and is about the size of state of Ohio. So we will have a quick overview on the history of the country. So Iceland was founded more than thousands years ago during the Viking age of exploration and settled by a mixed Norse and Celtic population. The early settlement made up primarily of Norwegian seafarers 
and the adventurers posted other exertions to Greenland and the coast of the North America. So Iceland remained the part of the Denmark, but in keeping with the rise of nationalism around the Europe in the 19th century, an intense movement emerged, and so by the 19th century, Iceland became an independent country. Okay. So next, moving on to the capital of the country. So, can anybody tell how it is pronounced? The capital of the Iceland. Can somebody tell me the pronunciation? Reykjavik. 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 It's Reykjavik. Okay. So it's the capital and the largest city of Iceland. It is located on this peninsula and the southeastern corner of Faxa Bay in southwestern Ireland. So it is the capital and the largest city of Iceland. Okay. Sorry. Now talking about the population of the country, the current population of Iceland is 3,43,151 as of 2021, which is based on the Worldometer elaboration of the latest United Nations data. Oh my God. Now, talking about the language of the country, the official language of Iceland is Icelandic which is spoken by at least 3 lakh of the 3 lakh 36 thousand people who live in there. Iceland has 100% literacy rate and according to a semi-official source, about 97% of Icelanders speak Icelandic as their mother tongue. Now, we will talk about how is Iceland governed. So, Iceland is a constitutional republic with a multi-party system. The head of the state is president. The executive power is exercised by the government. Iceland is arguably the world's oldest parliamentary democracy with the parliament, which is established in 1930. The legislative power is vested in both the parliament and the president. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. Okay, so who's going to tell me who is the president of Iceland? So it's Gauni Thorlacius Johansson. How is his name like that? It's Gauni Thorlacius Johansson. He is the president of Iceland. And the Prime yes. Minister of the country. Yes. Capital of Iceland. I told you. Do you know how to pronounce it? It's Kwajavik. What? Okay, it's Kwajavik. So now we will talk about the Prime Minister. It's Katherine Jakobsdotte. It's the Icelandic language, okay? So the currency of the country is Icelandic krona. Talking about the national sport, team hardball is often referred to as a national sport and Iceland's team is the one of the top ranked teams in the world, winning the silver medal at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, China and a bronze medal in 2010 European Championship. Now, talking about the climate of the place, in Iceland, the climate is cold, windy, and cloudy for most of the year. Of course, it's a cold country, so because of the high latitude, it can receive cold winds from the North Pole, but it also tempered by the ocean as well as the mid gulf streams that flows through it ma'am yes iceland is the one of the most 
eco friendly country in the world yes okay so now we will proceed with the cuisine yes yes you will have to wear sweater every time yes so okay so can somebody tell me what type of food the people of iceland eat eating food german okay so icelandic cuisine has a long history so important parts of icelandic cuisines are lamb dairy and fish okay so due to the latter due to the fact the iceland has traditionally been inhabited only near its coastline and have the popular food in the iceland okay so it has a traditional buffet which is served at the mid winter festival which is called as porablo so this dish is termed as porablo it includes a selection of traditional cured meat and fish produced served with some dense and dark sweet dry bread so the flavor of these traditional country food originate in its preservation method pickling in the fermented way or brine drying and smoking And now we should talk about the airlines of the country so can somebody tell me the name iceland air iceland. yes so iceland air is the flag carrier airline of iceland which is headquartered at kaflafik international airport which is near the capital city It is a part of the Iceland Air Group and operates to destinations on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean from its main hub at Kaffavik International Airport. So the geographical position of Iceland is convenient for one step transatlantic flights which is one pillar of the airline's business strategy along with traffic to form and within the country. The airline has a fleet size of 34 and it covers the destination over 53. So this country majorly owns the aircraft from the Boeing. Also, Iceland Air is chosen as the best major regional carrier in the Europe. So Iceland Air received an award as the best major regional carrier in Europe. at the apex passenger choice of port the ceremony took place on the 16th april in dublin ireland so iceland air also received an award for best in flight entertainment in europe as providing by the best wifi in europe ma'am okay, next okay so now we have a video to present ma'am i want to tell some facts about iceland okay you can tell ma'am more than 60% of population lives in the capital city of iceland named reykjavik reykjavik yes ma'am but it's very confusing spelling yes because you know it's the icelandic uh, you know language and we are not familiar with that so people yes. usually confuse it with the pronunciation so different people pronounce it in the different ways ma'am and uh, uh, icelandian uh, alphabets have some extra lines also Yes. So now we have a video to present. I request my guest to mute their mics. Oh, hello, na yar, pumka. Sir, I'm not hear anything, ma'am. Ma'am, I can't hear anything, ma'am. Land. Prints are quickly reclaimed. Stories. 
linger forever. Such is the sheer force and beauty of this place that Viking warriors have been transformed into poets and family stories into epic sagas. When Norseman Ingolfur Arneson first caught sight of these shores over 1100 years ago, he cast the wooden seat pillars of his chieftain's throne overboard and vowed to build his farm wherever they washed up. Three years later, the pillars were found and a settlement was born. That settlement became Reykjavik, Iceland's capital, a city two-thirds of Icelanders now call home. With a population of only 300,000, Iceland can feel like the most isolated place on Earth. Yet Reykjavik is only a three-hour flight from London and just under six from New York. Reykjavik is one of those places that's not sure if it's a big town or a small city, and therein lays its charm. It's relaxed and welcoming, yet possesses a fierce creativity and cultural life that holds its own against other European capitals. Most buildings here are a response to the natural environment, simple and low to beat the North Atlantic winds, colorful to brighten the spirits through the long, dark winters. Yet there's grand civic architecture here too, buildings truly inspired by Iceland's natural beauty. Like a spire from a fairy tale ice castle, the soaring central tower of Hallgrimskirja watches over all of Reykjavik. Designed to mirror the geometric shapes of ancient lava flows, few other churches in the world so honor the natural world. Iceland's conference and concert center, Harpa, is designed to reflect the city's sky, harbor, and cultural energy. Once again, the island's dramatic geologic formations are honored here, as well as the incredible winter spectacle of the Northern Lights. Icelanders value their heritage buildings too. When Reykjavik modernized in the mid-20th century, dozens of the city's older buildings were relocated to the last of the city's farms. Today, Arbeiersafen serves as a museum which allows visitors to walk through the pages of earlier times. While at the National Museum of Iceland, take a voyage through Icelandic history, from the present day back to the settlement age. Wherever you step in this city, nature beckons you. Over windswept waters, across the mountains, and into limitless horizons. Many of the country's most popular sites are within easy reach of Reykjavik, often by public transport. Immerse yourself in the spirit of Iceland at the Blue Lagoon. Here, and at hundreds of volcanic baths across the island, locals come to soak in the healing thermal waters, share gossip with neighbors, and even conduct business meetings. Not far from Reykjavik is an area known as the Golden Circle, which encompasses three of Iceland's greatest natural wonders. Just 30 miles from the capital is Thingvellir National Park, considered the country's heart and soul. Here you can actually walk between the tectonic plates of North America and Europe that have been drifting apart for millennia. Stand upon the shore of the country's largest lake, wander the grass-covered lava flows, and imagine the clans who gathered here for Iceland's open-air parliament for two weeks each year, for over 800 years. 
Also in the Golden Circle, experience a boiling cauldron of hissing steam vents and belching mud pools at the Geysir Geothermal Field. The Great Geysir itself has been quiet in recent years, but nearby, its little brother Strokur still puts on a show, thrusting water into the heavens every 10 minutes. If there's one natural wonder in the golden circle that outshines them all, it's Gulfos. Early last century, the waterfall was threatened by a hydroelectric project until a local farmer's daughter walked barefoot to Reykjavik and threatened to throw herself from the falls unless the project was stopped. Today, that woman is regarded as Iceland's first environmentalist and the Golden Falls have been protected forever. For many visitors, their Icelandic story continues no further than Reykjavik and the Golden Circle, which is a shame, because the further you roam, the greater the adventure. Iceland's main ring road circles the entire island, stringing together an endless series of epic landscapes and tales. An hour and a half's drive east from Reykjavik is one of the world's most beautiful waterfalls, Seljalandsfoss. Follow the trail behind a 200-foot veil of pure glacial water, where throughout the ages, adventurers have come to pause and breathe in the mists of this sacred place. Drive another 18 miles east to Skogafoss, where according to folklore, a Viking buried his chest of gold behind the falls. Years later, a local boy found the chest and attempted to wrench it from its hiding place, only to tear off its handle before the chest vanished again. On sunny days, the falls create a double rainbow, a treasure in itself. Continue eastward towards Vik, the southernmost village in the country. Here, wedged between the mountains and the sea, lie some of Iceland's most dramatic landscapes, weather, and legends. Explore the basalt sands of Black Beach, considered one of the most beautiful non-tropical beaches in the world. Just offshore rise the basalt sea stacks of Reynisdrangar. Locals say the formations are the remains of two trolls heading out to sea, who, when caught by the rising sun, were frozen in the morning light. The shorelines here are made up of otherworldly rock formations and caves, like Halsanefshelir, said to be a monster's lair until a landslide sealed the entrance only a century ago. Hike across the natural arch of Dirhole and sit surrounded by puffins. While below, waves that have traveled uninterrupted all the way from Antarctica end their journey against Iceland's most southerly point. Follow the ring road for another two hours into the ethereal light of Jökulsárlón Lake. Here, at the tongue of Vatnajökull, Europe's largest glacier, icebergs break away and float for years, melting down until they are small enough to tumble out to sea. Magnet for photographers and filmmakers, Jökulsárlón has been the setting for modern-day legends like James Bond, Batman and Lara Croft. From the wild, windswept shores of the east coast to the volcanic wonders of the north, 
Iceland's ring road offers one jewel after another, all strung together with mile upon mile of absolute solitude. Stand before the northern horseshoe falls of Selfos. Then just downstream, feel the earth rumble beneath your boots at Europe's mightiest waterfall, Detifos, whose plume can be seen over half a mile away. Nearby, the Mývatn region awaits, whose centerpiece is a tranquil lake surrounded by nature in all its violent beauty. Take a careful walk through the boiling landscape of Namafjell. Lose yourself amid the lava pillars and dark castles of Dimuborgir, the place where Satan is said to have landed when God cast him from heaven. Then, peer into the caldera of Krafla Volcano and witness the incredible geothermal power that resides just beneath the ice. Just to the west of Mivatn is a waterfall forever linked to a turning point in Iceland's epic narrative. When civil war threatened to tear the island in two in the 10th century, Iceland's law speaker united the country under one faith, Christianity. In a symbolic act of conversion, the chieftain hurled his pagan totems off the falls, which have been known as Gudafoss, the waterfall of the gods, ever since. After a few days on the road, the tiny city of Akureyri appears like an arctic oasis. Known as the capital of the north, Akureyri is the perfect place to warm up and enjoy some comfort and culture before heading off into the wilds again. There are some stories we never want to end, that we never want to put down, but rest assured, this is only an introduction. In Iceland, every side road, every path, is a story waiting to unfold. From the vast interior to the west fjords, each untouched beach and windswept plain is an unwritten page. So come and live your own Icelandic story. It's one you'll keep telling for the rest of your days. Okay, so that was a tour to our Iceland. So I hope our guests have enjoyed. So how you find the video? It was very nice, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mostly ma showed very by cool. waterfall. Very it cool, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma it was very good, ma'am. Okay, so somebody tell me what movies are shot in the country? Batman. 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 Yes. Any other answers? Mom, we can James, Bond, James Bond, James Bond, James Bond, James Bond. Yes. 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 Movie. yes. And have anybody have heard about the Netflix series The Game of Thrones? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma that entire series yes. have been shot in Iceland. Really? Ma'am, even I say. Yes. Ma'am, the 887 strange statues in Iceland. Ma'am, I have seen that series, ma'am. Oh, wow. I have seen a few okay. Netflix subscription. Okay, one more one. One by one. We are not able to listen to everyone at a single time. So just come on one by one. Nesa want to speak something? Yes, ma'am. 
Ma'am, I yes. have seen Friends web series. Oh wow. Ma'am. Ma'am, I want to tell some facts about Iceland. Yes, Rudra. Ma'am, Iceland was last place on earth to be settled by humans. Yes, and more interestingly, it has the oldest democracy. Even I want to tell a fact. Yes, Neeta. It's a place of fire and ice. Yes, exactly. As the country has so many volcanoes, glaciers, hot springs, so you know there's an amalgamation. Ma'am, there are only eleven percent of glaciers in Iceland. Yes, yes. And then there are eight hundred and eighty-seven stream statues in Iceland. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am. Yes, Rishi. Uh, uh, but the more. Ma'am. Uh, but why? Why? Excuse me, ma'am. It has the oldest democracy. You know, it is a fact because. Although it was considered to be the last country to be developed by the humans, but it has the oldest democracy. So it's the fact of the country. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Nakshita. Yes, Nakshita. Uh, someone sent me the camera control. So what do I do? Good. Anybody else want to say anything? Yes, ma'am. I will want to say. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, Iceland has northern lights, which are very uh, beautiful, and it's yes. a tourist attraction. Yeah, and these can be seen in the month of September, especially. Ma'am, can you tell a fact about Iceland? Ma'am, ma'am, I have one... seen Iceland. Ma'am, okay. Yes, Rudra. <laughs> People says that if we grow, if we go through the northern lights, uh, we will get a uh, power to move iron, uh, to to move and control iron. Sonia myth. Remember Sonia myth. Yes, yes, yes. And I have a question for you all. What is the nickname of Iceland? Land of fire and ice. Land of fire and ice. Yes, excellent. Ma'am, land of fire and ice, ma'am. Land of fire. What What are the languages spoken in Iceland? Icelandic. 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 Ma'am, ma'am, can I say a fact about Iceland? Did someone say something? Which can Uh, which is tomorrow's country? For tomorrow, we will be visiting Indonesia. Ma'am, that is. Ma'am, Iceland. Ma'am, ma'am, the land of fire and uh, ice is because ma'am because of volcanoes and glaciers. Ma'am, before Corona, I went to visit yes. Iceland. Ma'am, I have a fact about Iceland. Can I say? Ma'am, I yeah. do have another fact about Iceland. More than sixty percentage of the Icelandic population live in the capital city. Ma'am, ma'am, I want to tell a fact about Iceland. Yes, go ahead. Ma'am, many Icelanders believe in elves and trolls. You know what elves are? Yes, ma'am. Nice. The short people. Yeah. And can I say a fact about Iceland? Yes. Ma'am, uh, more land discovered by glaciers in Iceland than in all European countries combined. Yes, excellent. Ma'am, I ma do have another fact. Uh, the country is the second largest island in Europe and has a coastline of four thousand nine seventy kilometers. Three thousand and eighty-eight miles. Okay, nice. 
Anyone ah, else has a John. card? Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am. Ma there are how many countries there are on earth? Countries on 196. earth. 196. 196. 196 countries. Ma'am, I have a fact. Yes. Iceland is famous for being called the land of fire and it's because of of its volcanoes and its glaciers. Iceland is the land of ice and fire. Yes. And I have a map. Ma'am, can I say? Yeah, go ahead. Ma'am, uh, in Iceland, people must be drinking hot chocolate, right? Yeah, they might. Does anyone yeah. else? Yeah. I mean, Iceland, no bones of dinosaurs have been found. Which oh, means, I... yeah. yes, ma'am. So, yeah. this can conclude that there were no dinosaurs in Iceland. Yeah, because it was covered I... in glaciers, right? So, dinosaurs can't go there. Huh? Anyone else has a fact to add? Ma'am, January is the coldest month in Iceland. Nice. Nice, Darsh. And of course, January is the coldest month in India too. No. <laughs> no. That is the coldest country on earth. Okay, so I am now going to assign you with the task for tomorrow. So, uh -uh. I, all you know, we are going to visit which country? Indonesia. 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 Yes. So, we are going to visit Indonesia tomorrow. So, I want you people to search about the dance culture and the music of the country. And that as well as dance culture, music, and the food of the country. Okay? Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm... Ma okay, ma'am. I want to tell something. Ma'am, that is our task. Yes, ma'am. Yes, that is our task. Yes, Rudra. Uh... In which continent does Iceland come? I have told you at the beginning of the presentation. Ma'am, uh, sorry, but yeah. I was late to join. Yeah. Okay, so anybody now? Have... Like... Europe, Europe. Yes. Okay, who will gonna tell? Ma'am, Antarctic yes, for Europe. Europe. Yeah. Is that Can I say a fact about Indonesia? Yes. Ma'am, uh, Indonesia is the world's largest island country. Indonesia is the largest nation in the world with 735,358. Yes, we have already told this. Me, ma'am. Yes, Ashika. Uh, the land of uh, hot, what we, it was nicknamed. It is a land of fire and ice. Yes, ma'am. It is because of lava, uh, volcanoes and glaciers. Yes, yes, definitely. So, that was all about our today's team. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm just showing my plane right now. Yes. Oh, wow. That's really amazing. It can even move. So, have you made this? By your own? Yeah. Oh wow, this is really amazing. Ma'am? Ma'am, it's looking something like Lego, ma'am. It's Lego. Yes. So we really liked it. Thank you for showing this as... Yeah. Ma'am? Yes. 
This is Fiona speaking. Yes, Fiona. So why I'm a co-host? Yes. Why I'm a co-host, I just want to say. Okay. So today, as I have told everyone, Fiona was our Q member for the day, and I would really like to appreciate her effort. And uh, she is the crew member for the today, and also we will be having a crew member for the rest of the crew also. So I have assigned you the task for tomorrow, and we will meet tomorrow. Okay. So I hope everybody is clear with the task. Oh, yes. 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 Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. What is this, ma'am? Thank you, ma'am. Bye.